Hello and welcome to another Geist tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at Geist's scene and song mode. Both of these modes are different ways of sequencing patterns across the eight engines. To demonstrate this I've put a small arrangement together across the eight engines uh, with a few different patterns and different elements that we can sequence together and sort of build up into a song. It sounds a bit like this. <laughs> Scenes are a way of capturing what patterns are currently playing and what engines are muted and are not muted. We can have up to 72 different scenes using this scroll bar here. So let's make our first scene. I think I'm going to start with um, just a couple of engines. Now each scene has two buttons, a snapshot button and a trash button. The snapshot button will capture the current state of Geist. It will capture which patterns are playing on each engine and whether the power is on or off for that engine. We can also name the scenes. And now we'll move on and create another one. So what I've done there is um, on engine 6 I've just switched the pattern from uh, this first pattern to this second pattern. Okay, so I've created eight scenes there. Now in themselves, those scenes are great. I can use them in a kind of live situation. I can trigger them using the MIDI notes um, that you see here. So we can basically just jam using scenes. If I decide I want to change something, for example in this scene here, I want to get rid of the uh, kind of random arpeggio on engine 5, I can simply do so by re-snapshotting there. So um, those are scenes really. Uh, for each scene 
we have uh, three different start modes. One is immediate, which means that as soon as you trigger that scene, either with the mouse or with a MIDI key, it will immediately switch to it. Uh, the next is next beat, which means it will switch to the scene on the next beat. And there's next bar. So if we set them all to next bar, which I can do by alt clicking next bar, then all the scenes will change neatly on a bar. At the top here, we have a master snapshot to next free scene button. Um, and we have a master select and trigger next scene. And we have a clear all scenes button. And these are MIDI learnable. So you can, um, you can do a lot of scene capturing uh, without ever using your keyboard. So those are scenes. Let's take a quick look at song mode. We have to activate song mode. Song mode is a much more linear way of sequencing patterns. You can think of it much like the arrange page in uh, your host, whether it be Pro Tools or Logic or Ableton or Sonar, Cubase, whatever. We have the eight engines down here. You can use the tools up here to enter patterns. We can change which pattern there is. We can change the lengths. We have an erase tool and a select tool, much like the pattern page and a multi-tool. If you're using Geist as a plugin, song mode will follow your host's main transport and it will also follow its cycle markers. Geist will always remain synced to your host's song. My favorite way of using song mode though is by um, utilizing scene mode as well. If we record in song mode, any changes we make in scene mode will be recorded into the song. So let's try that now. So we can see there that every change we made in C mode has been reflected in song mode. And now if we play back Geist whilst in song mode, we'll hear exactly what we recorded. And that's scene and song mode in Geist. Thank you. 